To close out our module, we're going to examine inverse trigonometric functions. And let's think about what the word inverse has meant for you probably a lot of times. And it's kind of like reverse. Inverse is stronger than reverse in that we're not only going backwards, we're sort of undoing in reverse order. So um, for us, many times in mathematics, we would think of the inverse of addition as being subtraction, the inverse of square as being square root, and so on. Well, in trigonometry, there's also inverses. So um, let's look at this given triangle here. If I were to examine angle A, notice I don't have the measure of angle A or the measure of angle B, but I am given side lengths. So if I were to use the Pythagorean theorem, I could I can solve for the hypotenuse. I can solve all of the um, sides rather easily with two sides given. But if I don't have an angle besides the right angle, how do I know the other two angles? So let's take a look at um, this angle A. In relationship to it, the adjacent side is 25 and the opposite is 20. That would mean that the tangent of angle A is equal to the opposite 20 over 25. Now, you could simplify that uh, further, but if you were to figure out the decimal equivalent of it, 20 divided by 25, I believe you would get 0 0.8 if you would just type in 20 divided by 25 into your calculator. Now, what does that mean? Uh, well, that means that's the tangent ratio. That's the relationship of the opposite to the adjacent, but it doesn't tell us the angle. However, there is a feature on our calculators that we can use that takes us backwards. Since it's memorized all of the trigonometric ratios, it can undo them. Right? We can go from here backwards to figure out what the value of A is. So let's first take a look at how we write this notation-wise, and then we'll look at an example with a calculator in just a second. So here in this diagram, you can see I have a triangle ABC, and I have a whole bunch of things on the screen. Let's just examine a few of those. Um, if I want to find the measure of the angle A or B, I can use inverse trigonometric functions. Let's take a look at angle B here, all right? Angle B, if I want to figure that out, if I'm given any two of these lengths, A, B, or C, I can figure it out. It doesn't matter which two that I'm given. So let's just pretend it's like the one that we looked at on the left. If I was given the length A and the length B, I would think, okay, that, uh, what are those sides in relationship to the angle B? Those are opposite and adjacent. So that would mean I would look at the tangent function. Well, then the tangent inverse is defined this way. Notice there's a little negative one. Okay. So before we write this, we would write the tangent of angle B would be equal to um, the opposite B over A. So that takes us um, that takes us to give us a trig ratio. The an inverse tangent function, notice as listed, is we just switch those two. Instead of b on the left, we put b over a, and and what comes out is the uh, angle b. Now, or you can say the measure of angle b, the size of angle b. So it takes us backwards. All right. So let's look a little bit more at our specific example. All right, over here. Let me zoom back out a little bit. We can go to our calculator and ask the calculator, hey, calculator, if I know the tangent ratio is 0 0.8, um, what would be the angle that deals with 0 0.8? All right. And so that feature is also in our calculator. I'm going to use my calculator first and then talk about a little bit about other calculators. So pulling up my calculator okay, clearing that out. If I were to type in the, the given ratio, 20 over 25, which is, which is, well, let me just show that here. If I do 20 divided by 25, all right. Let's do that first and just show you that it's 0.8. I can ask my calculator, what angle measure goes with that? But I have to know that it's tangent. So I go to my trigonometric functions. Now, on this, on this computer calculator, I have to hit the second key, which is very typical of your calculator as well. And then I see that tangent inverse comes up. I click that. And there's my value, 38.6598, blah, 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 blah. This is the actual angle measure. I'm going to round off 38.66, all right? 38.66. What does that mean? That means that the measure of angle A or the size of angle A is 38.66 degrees. Now, you could also solve for the value of B by subtracting from 180. On a lot of calculators, and I'm just going to um, model one here. This is a Texas Instrument TI-30X2S, and I'm not recommending that you buy this. I'm just using it as an example. Um, if I zoom in on the home screen here, on the screen, you can notice that there is a button that says tangent. So we do have a tangent button. All right, make sure we're in degree mode. <laughs> I'm noticing that the picture of this calculator I chose is in the wrong mode. It's in radian mode. Make sure it says D E. G. That's very, very important. All right. If you want to use the inverse tangent, notice that right above it, okay, there is a, there's that tan uh, negative 